Hi everybody, Bridget here. Today we are going to make Mucky Muck. Come on, let's do it together. For this project, you'll need cornstarch, cocoa powder, half a cup of warm water, a bowl to mix everything in, a one cup measuring cup, one, taste, one tablespoon measure, something to mix everything together with, some extra spoons for scooping, and best of all, a couple bugs. I'm ready. So first we're going to measure one cup of cornstarch. Get your one cup measuring cup. You're going to scoop a little bit out and put it into your measuring cup. Go slow. And you can count if you would like to count how many scoops it'll take to fill up the cup. Oh, we're almost there. Need one more scoop. There we go. One cup of cornstarch. Now get your bowl and you're going to put the cornstarch in the bowl very carefully. Watch me. Dump, dump, dump. Nice job. Next, you're going to need half a cup of warm water. And now you're going to mix it all together, but you're going to mix very carefully. Go around and around, nice and slow. Ooh, something's happening. Keep mixing around and around. Nice job. I like how you're mixing nice and slow. If you need to add more water, please do. And if you're like me and it's too thin, you might need to add a little bit more cornstarch and that's okay. Gonna add a little bit more and then mix it in nice and slow. Around and around. Nice mixing carefully. Keep mixing until all the lumps are gone. Awesome. Can you tell me what color that is? Is it red? No. Is it purple? No, it's white. Nice mixing. 
Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Count with me. One scoop, two scoops. Nice counting. And we're gonna mix it up again and we're gonna go really carefully this time too. Mix slow. Ooh, look, something's happening. Ooh, this looks different. And it smells different too. If it starts to become too difficult to stir, add a little bit of water at a time. Keep mixing. You might need to ask for some help if it gets too hard to mix. But keep going nice and slow. Nice job. We're going to mix in just a little bit more water, not much. Speed this part up. <laughs> All right. That's looking pretty good. Once your monkey muck is made, here are a few ways that you can play with it at home. You can play with it in the bowl with a mixing spoon or with your hands. Another thing you can do is put a little bit on a cookie sheet. Like so. You can let it run down on the cookie sheet. You can trace on the cookie sheet. You can make lines. You can draw more shapes. Or my favorite, you can add a couple bugs. I hope you've enjoyed making this project and I hope you have lots of fun at home. See you next time.